while the holidays are always a fun time, they can also be stressful, especially when it comes to managing potential pet emergencies. Dr. Laura Kozlowski, medical director and veterinarian at Veterinary Emergency Group Oakbrook, joins us now with some tips for avoiding holiday hazards. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I think we should first address the little fuzzball in your lap. <laughs> yes, this is Andrew. Andrew was found in a car engine by a good Samaritan and brought in. He had a really bad injury, so now he um, only has three legs, but he's doing great. Oh, and so he's going to be up for adoption starting tomorrow with the Cat Cade in Chicago. Oh, that's Aww, wonderful. wonderful well, organization. We hope someone yeah. actually brings him into a loving home. Oh, he's very and sweet. Yeah. Part of a loving home is making sure that there are no there's nothing in there that can be harmful mm -hmm. to them. We're going to have a lot of people coming in and out of our homes. Mm -hmm. They're going to be bringing things into our homes. And some of the things that they bring can actually be hazardous for mm -hmm. the pets. I, we know like chocolate is not good, mm -hmm. uh, even poinsettias. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, gra uh, grapes was new to me. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, grapes and raisins. So I have two little kids and they love to feed my dog. So yeah. I don't even bring grapes and raisins into my house. Uh -huh. They are very toxic. Macadamia nuts, chocolate. Chocolate is actually mild compared to a lot of the other ones. A lot of plants that we get during the season too. Lilies are extremely toxic toxic to cats. Um, the pollen, even the water that a lily's in can be toxic. Um, so you just want to be careful of anything coming into your house. With the more toxic foods, you know, either don't bring them in at all or store them somewhere, you know, where an animal can't get to them. I'll admit I don't bring grapes and raisins, but I do bring chocolate into yeah. my house. Yeah. Okay. What about, I haven't heard avocados. Yeah, and the pits It's too. the pits, right? Yeah, what, is the it pits can get stuck. Cyanide or something? Uh, the... No, it's more of an obstruction. It is, okay. Yeah. Mm. But peach pits. You're peach thinking pits. peach pits. Okay, that's cyanide. what it was. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. All the yeah. things, like, it's been a hot second since I had a pet, and now mm -hmm. I have one, and I'm like, what? Because yeah. I forgot about, like, the ornaments, and then the wrapping paper, and all yeah. that. Oh my gosh, tinsel. Tinsel is terrible. Tinsel, the um, ribbon on gifts as well. You know, you get these gifts, they're so beautifully wrapped, but most of the time I cut the ribbon off before I put them under the tree because cats will get into them. Mm -hmm. With toys, if you have children, the little small toys, yes. Yes. animals love to eat things like that. Um, I have a kitten right now and she keeps climbing up the Christmas tree, oh. getting into the ornaments, mm -hmm. the strings, anything. Um, a lot of people too make salt dough ornaments at the um, holidays those can be toxic to dogs. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So what happens if you see your pet or your pet is throwing up mm -hmm. and getting ill? I mean, yeah. is that time to call the vet at that time or get them to an emergency room? Yeah. I mean, the first thing you should do is always call your primary care vet. See if you can get in. If you can't get in, if it's actually Christmas Day, if they're closed, um, you should always know where the closest emergency vet is to your home. At Veterinary Emergency Group, we have two locations in the city, one that's opening in Oak Brook in nine days, which oh. is exciting. Yes. You can actually call and speak to a veterinarian. So if you say you have a medical question or you're not sure if you need to come in, you just call, talk to one of our doctors, and we can either tell you, yes, you can wait, or no, you should absolutely be seen. Okay. Because isn't there, with some of these poisoning issues mm -hmm. with pets, some of them you can wait it out, correct? Well, not with poisoning. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, but the, the food stuff that sure. is technically poisonous to them. If your dog has them. one bout of diarrhea, it oftentimes doesn't need to be seen. Okay. If your dog is throwing up, I feel like it should always be seen. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's okay. good to know. Okay, because mm -hmm. that comes from probably the table scraps that they're yeah. getting a hold yes. of or people mm -hmm. are yeah. giving them to them. Exactly. Even if it's not toxic, it can definitely cause GI upset, vomiting, diarrhea, and at a bare minimum, there are medications that we can use to make your animal feel better. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other thing too is the loud noises, because mm -hmm. people might have a fireworks display or there's yep. just a lot of people in the house oh, yeah. and somebody inevitably is just Scary. super loud. Yes. For sure. So a lot of animals are reactive to noises. Fireworks at New Year's, really, really scary. Noisemakers, things like that that are used around Christmas time. Um, always know that you can put your pet like in a safe room, um, a basement if you have it, somewhere quiet. You can put on the radio, um, something to drown out that those noises. Make sure your microchip is up to date. Make oh, sure yeah. the collar's up to date with your information in case your phone number has changed. Um, 
if your animal then gets out, somebody can at least get them back to yeah. you. And I want to go real quickly because we're almost out of time. Mm -hmm. When it comes to uh, your pet ingesting something, mm -hmm. how do you know if it's an obstruction or not? Or if they even oh, have gosh. one? So uh, normally an obstruction happens, you know, a day or two after okay. they've eaten something, most frequently. Um, vomiting and not wanting to eat. Those okay. are the big things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, those are the things to watch for. Mm -hmm. All right. So well, much to think about. Yes, it is. And if you do run into one of these situations, you can reach out to the veterinary emergency group. Dot com. There's a vet on, on standby in case mm -hmm. you have questions, and then you have two locations open yep. right now yep. with a third coming that you can get somebody in there and yep. get your pet in there and get some help. Yes. Oh, well, hopefully Don't someone will. Guy. Yeah, we'll adopt him tomorrow. I know. Get Andrew for Christmas, everybody. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's so right. cute. <laughs> Dr. Koslowski, thank you so much. Thank you so Happy much. Holidays. Happy holidays.